Hey, Lights Out Ace here again. Um, and today I'm gonna be playing a few games with this deck that I played on stream last week. It uh, was super fun, super awesome, lots of great moments, and uh, some, some other people started picking it up. And I've actually been seeing it on the ladder a bit recently. And that deck is uh, a Felm Reanimator Scream deck. So this deck is pretty crazy. Like the main engine is like Vara bringing back Vara, bringing back one of these fatties here. Uh, Snowfresh Animist especially is just like MVP. Uh, with uh, Grasping at Shadows, and you're pitching those into the void with Herald Song, Spore Folk. Uh, but then you also have this whole, like, Dark Wisp, Gorgon Fanatic, Devour Haunting Screen package. And this is a couple things. Like, one, it gives you a bunch of good early game blockers. Which dryer? Uh, this one here. And two, it gives you uh, some extra card draw to put together your sort of hard to put together engine. Like, the only cards that are super strong on their own is, like, Black Sky Harbinger and then, like, their removal spells, like, uh, Death Strike and Annihilate. So, like, these Wisps and Devourers and Fanatics and Spore Folks just buy you a lot of time. And then, once you scream at Gorgon Fanatic, you can Dark Return it, and it will still have the charge and flying, so you'll be able to basically hit with it and draw three cards again. And then, when you Vara, you're at the end of your Vara chain, you can bring back a Gorgon Fanatic and draw three more cards, gain three more health. Then with all of the Varas and Grasping of Shadows and Dark Returns, you basically can bring back your whole board if you like get Harsh Ruled, for example, every single turn for the rest of the game. And so Hunting Scream looks kind of awkward with only the Golden Fanatics to go with it, but you can also Hunting Scream at Dark Wisp just to draw a card at end of turn. And once you have a Vara in play, and like you do power up with the Vara in play a lot in this deck, uh, Haunting Scream just becomes another reanimation spell. Like, you can Haunting Scream one of these cheap guys, like the Dark Wisp, the Spore Folk, the Fanatic, and then bring back a Harbinger or Snow Crush an or another Vara with the Vara trigger. So, we're gonna go through a few games. This deck is uh, a lot less meme than it seems. Like, I did play it through Diamond 2 and most of Diamond 1. But, uh, it's not, like, a Tier 1 deck by any means. It's very meta-dependent. When the meta is slow, control decks based on Harsh Rule, uh, then it's very good. So, it's very good against stuff like, uh... Armory, for example. And it's very, very bad against Steward of the Past, so if Felm's popular, don't play this deck. Uh, Combray is okay. Like, their Harsh Rules can't really catch them up because you can recover from Harsh Rule forever. But their, uh, all of their Silence units, the Desert Marshals and the Vulk Reinforcers, are really good at shutting down your shenanigans. Like, they can silence all of the uh, uh, Gorgons so that you only ever get one. And then they also can silence your Varas once you get them in play, so you don't get, like, endless Vara reanimation chains. Uh, this island, like, has, like, two expensive cards. A way to discard them, but no way to bring them back. And no two-drop. I just, I think we can do better. Like, it doesn't have a reanimation thing. So, I'm gonna redraw. Alright, well, if we find, a uh, Gorgon Fennec, this is great. But if we don't, we can just, like, start cycling this Wisp. Right, our opponent is somewhat aggressive. You definitely, like, don't want to see aggro here. Like, you have a couple of those chump blockers, but then stuff like Rakano is probably, like, the bad matchup. Like, Rakano, Steward of the Past, I would say, are the two things you don't want to see. So, I think something like this can go fine. Like, if you find a Black Sky Harbinger, it's super good. And occasionally, you just have, like, the turn 5 Grasp of Vara, bringing back Vara and uh, another fatty. Like, if that's a Snow Crush Animus, you just, like, wipe their whole board and instantly win. So, you certainly can win any matchup with a Nut Draw. Like, your average draw isn't going to do very well against a Rakano, because you only have 3 Death Strikes and 3 Annihilates. So, you generally can't deal with all of their uh, big Aegis Flyers. Alright, so we're going to get a good, like, Chump slash devour here, and I think I'm going to devour rather than just trade. I, I do need to draw these cards. Right, it looks like they have a torch. Yeah, that's really bad. I guess I don't feel so bad about uh, devouring this then. <laughs> right, if we found like a Herald Song and a Varro, we're in good shape. But if we don't, we do not have long. They have 11 strength in play, and we're at 27. Now, obelisk means this isn't going to stabilize us. Other than just, like, being a blocker for a couple things. Alright, let's see what we can put in the void here. Uh, Venom Spine Hydra is quite good. Uh, we got a Gorgon Fanatic, which we can scream right now and draw three more. Uh, then next turn we can grasp the Hydra and then annihilate it. Uh, so if we block here, we take 8 down to 14. Uh, then we bring it back. We take another 8 down to 6. So we're going to die if they have some more stuff with that plan. But do we really have a better plan? Like, 
We kind of need to save the Annihilate for our Hydra, I think. So let's just hope these cards find us something good enough. Something like a Vara would be amazing. Uh, yep, they're just going to torch this. It's fine. It's not going out our face. Alright, as long as I don't have another Obelisk or a uh, Arcana Monitor or an Obliterate, I guess we'll be okay. Alright, so this is everything they have. Okay, so... If I block this largest thing, I take 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13, 16, and I die. So I have to annihilate one of these. Man, if I was on the play, it's going to be a lot different, because then I could wipe the board and still be alive. Uh, all right, so I can annihilate this, this thing and block something. Nope, that kills me too. Um, it looks like we're just dead. We didn't, we didn't bend a Vara, did we? No. All right, I guess I just draw three and pray. I'm not sure what these three cards could be. If this just serves as a removal spell, it's fine too. Yeah, that's fine. Kill this, take two, four, six, eight, ten, thirteen. Yeah, alright, we're dead. Yeah, I guess I should have annihilated that just to, to draw three. Yeah, yeah. All right, an inauspicious start, but like I said, to beat Agro, you kind of need to get a uh, black sky down, and uh, we we did not do that. All right, this is good. It has grasp and herald song, so you just have to like draw varas and fatties and stuff. Worst case scenario, we can just like get a turn five black sky harbinger. Like that's not awful. And we're on the draw against an aggressive deck again. They didn't have a one drop, at least. Okay, power is nice. That means I can do this. This put, puts more cards in the void than Herald Song, and we don't have a Vara in hand, so we don't particularly care about that. Alright, we found a Venom Spine. Man, if this if this Venom Spine was a uh, just a, another um, Snow Crush Animist, we would have won that last game, so perhaps that should just be another Snow Crush Animist. It looks like we're against Armory. This is a good matchup. Uh, once you start haunting, screaming, stuff... It's really, really hard for them to stop. Uh, I think I'm just going to kill this. Preserve my unit to block a Relic Weapon hit, basically. And again, I don't have any fatties to discard. Like, yes, I could discard this Harbinger, but I can also just cast this Harbinger, like, very reasonably and easily. So I don't really want to pitch it. Another thing, when you're getting closer to 8 power, you don't want to pitch your Varas to the Herald Songs. You just want to pitch, like, excess power and, like, other, like, things you don't want, basically. Whereas you do want Varas if you're going to hit 8 power. But now I have nothing better to do, so I'm just going to draw a couple cards here. And this card of power. I can see pitching this Death Strike here. Probably also just pitch a power, though. Like, I have three more draws before I need to... Or two more draws before I need to play this Harbinger, and I have enough power for it already. Yeah, yeah. Definitely just pitch the power. Yeah, that was, that was the right call. Alright, so any sort of... Haunting Scream is great. Any sort of fatty is great. This will kill this in another turn, so like we'll only take a little bit of damage. Alright, so do I grasp this 7-7? Seven, seven? Opponent doesn't have any units, but like... We don't have any Varas, so it's not like it's going to get better anytime soon. So, yeah. 5 power 7-7. Seven, seven. Pog champ. <laughs> Not quite a 4 cost 7-7. Seven, seven. Alright, our opponent's power is nice and awkward, so they can't cast a Ikaria. Alright, Vanquish is fine. Alright, so they, they have a bunch of extra Warcries floating on top of their deck, but... We can beat that. Got a Harbinger. Got another Ping if they have a buffed Rune Hammer. Which they might. They did play an Artisan. Because then I have two Pings to kill the Rune Hammer without sacking my guy. Yeah, this is the point of the game where you just want to draw Vars, though. Or Haunting Scream. Haunting Scream is actually our best draw. Oh, hey, a target for my Death Strike. That doesn't happen too often. Ooh, and we draw Haunting Scream. This is perfect. Oh, opponent has a pause. That's unfortunate. That means they have a torch or something. 
So I'm not going to scream into the face of their torch and just die. Wait till they use up all their power for something. Which they might never do. Alright, so that was all their war cries. So that means their top one... Well, if the top card is another sort of Akari, it'll still be 5 strength because of the Artisan and the Warcry from that sword. Porn has a lot of premiums. Alright, they do a Seek, so they can cast Akari, you know. Fortunately, they do not have it. So, all of their swords of Akari kill this. I guess my hope is that if they have a torch, they like use two torches to kill this. Something like that. These are actually good as like damage to finish off a Relic Weapon, so I'm not going to just play them. I don't need the extra power right now. Maybe if I draw a Vara, then I'll just play them. Alright, well, there's something that will draw the torch. And I'm just going to play this. If this gets harsh ruled, like, yes, it's a two for one, but I get to draw another card out of it and keep the pressure on. If they don't have harsh ruled, then this is very, very threatening. Right, they just do nothing. So they're going to, like, torch this for sure. But, like, let's see if they have two of them, I guess. There's one. Wow. Very disciplined, saving both of those torches when I have a Black Sky Harbinger in play. Very heads-up play by uh, Sunu. Yeah, I mean, they're ranked pretty highly, so they probably know what they're doing. Alright, these aren't quite enough here. <laughs> so we get two draws. Let's hope one of them is something good. Alright, that isn't great, but it'll it'll do. Oh, well, this is great. They have yet another torch. Wow. So the last card is torch number three. That's insane. All right, yeah, so they just weren't using the Black Sky Harbinger that whole time because they were so afraid of Scream. Super heads-up play by the opponent. Maybe I should have gotten a Wisp. Nah, I think getting the Torch out so that my next Scream or Vara or whatever is going to be good. Um, all right, so what I've been is another Harbinger and some power. A Death Strike, yeah, well, all the cards I've been were bad, so... Oh, wait, I should have used this just to save myself 7 health. Them knowing it's going to die doesn't change anything. Yeah, that was that was just a mistake. Well, this is saves me one if I draw a Vara into Harbinger. But I would Vara into Gorgon Fanatic, so... Alright. So let's hope opponent whiffed for a turn. Keep this in hand in case I draw a Herald Song, and then draw something good off that song and want to pitch my power. Uh, do I have any Herald Songs left in my deck? Yeah. I've drawn one... Pitched one, yeah, so I still have two. Oh, baby, are we going to connect? Finally. So many fanatics later, we get to draw three cards. Oh, baby, two Grasping at Shadows. That is magnifique. We do not have any Varas here, though. I'm actually going to save these Grasping at Shadows for Gorgon fanatics, I think. Well, okay, opponent has nothing. So I guess I have lethal next turn if they... Don't, if, they're, if their card isn't Vanquish or Harsh Rule, someone's going to grab this. And then if it is Vanquish or Harsh Rule, I can draw three more cards and I'll be in fine shape. Alright. Okay, we got him. Yeah, so you can see how this deck has a good matchup against Armory. Just like the Scream package is so powerful against them. And like, I didn't even draw a Vara, which would have blown that game wide open. Like, they can't possibly draw enough Harsh Rules to keep you under control once you find a Vara. Hopefully in these, like, five or so games that I play here, we'll, uh, we'll get to go off super crazy. So everybody can see what it looks like. Although you can also check out the stream VODs at uh, twitch.tv slash RNG Eternal. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta work the plugs in there, though. <laughs> yeah, and, and, like, the main selling point of this deck isn't that, like, it's good against Armory or, or whatever. Like, the main draw of this deck is it's just super fun. Like, the Vara chains and the screaming and the milling yourself to bring back Black Sky Harbinger a million times. It's just, it's so fun. It's just, it's just, you play games to, because you enjoy them, right? And like, playing this game just brings me such joy, and playing this deck just brings me even more joy. Like, it's just a beautiful deck. 
highly recommend anyone who has the uh, Varas and Black Sky Harbingers to give it a try. And if you have a Snowcrush Animist, that is a very, very helpful addition. Alright, so... We have a Grasp. We don't have anything to way to dump a guy in the bin, but we do have like a reasonable draw of like Varus Favor, Fnatic, Annihilate, so I think I keep. Now, if my opponent plays like a thing with one health or a single faction unit, then uh, we're going to get our Gorgon in, and that's just like step one to winning a game, right? Drawing three cards. Hopefully they're not Combray, I guess, or like Chalice. Chalice can really... You're never going to get through a Golden Fan against Chalice, because they have Desert Marshal and Scorpion Wasp. Okay, could play that. I just want to guarantee my power. If one is playing a Primal deck, there likely aren't many targets for Var's favor. I just want to get this Fnatic down on three. The earlier you play an Infiltrate unit, the better, because the more likely it is that your opponent won't have the answer, won't have the blocker. Also applies in draft. Like, if you have a choice between, like, Left Right Ranger and Argent Point Soldier or, Soldier or something, like, you should play the Echo, the uh, Infiltrate guy first, because it's more likely to get in the earlier it is. All right, they have no Storm Links. That's a good sign. If they play, like, a Dawnwalker, I'm still going to annihilate it. Like, yes, that's poor value. Well, I guess if it's Dawnwalker specifically, I'd always favor it. Yeah, hopefully they play, like, False Prince. That'd be super good. Or hopefully they just play nothing, you know? Like, I'm good with that, too. They have a wasp, I guess. All right. Do I care about this wasp? No, I think that's fine. I'll save the annihilate for something actually valuable to kill. I just hope I'm a little fatty here. Got a Vara. All right. So I have the fifth power already. Save this for a uh, false prince. Next turn I can grasp Vara, bring back Fnatic. Yeah, this is just super powerful. It looks like they are Chalice, maybe. I don't know. Well, no, they're probably just TJP beatdowns. Chalice doesn't play Sandstorm Titan. <laughs> making me choose. I can get them both! Alright, so now they kind of have to have Harsh Rule, or they're just dead. And then if they do have Harsh Rule, I have plenty of ways to rebuild. Grasps, Dark Returns, Haunting Screams. Alright, well, they have it. So just like TJP Control, I suppose. Oh, that's a nice draw. I like that card. Uh, let's pitch one of these, play this. Make him have it again. It being Marshall or Lightning Strike. Or even Harsh Rule. Or Combray Healer. That will also do it. Um, all right, I think I'm just going to do this and play Harbinger next turn. Herald Song is better when I have a fatty I want to pitch, or in this case, since I'll be able to cast a fatty in short order, just ex excess power. So I'm probably going to save this for several turns. All right, well, my opponent's not running out of gas anytime soon. I have another Titan, sure. If I play this, nah, I might want to pitch to this Herald Song next turn. All right, yeah, this is the sort of opponent where we want to get these Vara trains going, so let's just hope we draw some Varas. I can't possibly have enough harsh rules for all of our Varas and Grasps. Like, we've only played... Yeah, one of each. Reinarch. Interesting. I'm not really sure what my opponent is playing at all. It is a mystery to me. Uh, hmm, I probably actually just pitched this. It does nothing, right? Well, you can trade with a Sandstorm Titan, I suppose. Yeah, I guess it's better. I'm, I'm going to draw power naturally, just based on how long this game is going to go. So I kind of want to get maximum value out of everything. If I draw a Vara and can't cast it for five turns, like, that's okay. Like, my opponent isn't going to kill me in the meantime. Especially with another, like, cantripping card in hand. So if my opponent starts hitting me with Channel the Tempests, this could get ugly. Yeah, I'm fine trading off either of these. I assume they killed a the Harbinger, yeah. Yeah, and then these can double lock Titan even. Like, they're not attacking. Like, their attacks aren't doing anything, so. Alright, Dark Return. So, we do have a Vara in here. So, yep, let's just work towards 8 power. Unless we're getting channeled in the face several times. Like, we're going to be able to overwhelm them if we just survive. Alright, 
All right, that's good for them. Kind of bad for us. All right, there's more power, though. I like that. I attack, I'm just going to double block. All right, there's number seven. Um, do I just play the dark return now? I think my opponent is playing, like, Reign of Frogs or anything. Probably not. Do I want to, like, be extra careful? Probably. Alright, so they have Desert Marshal. Temple Scribe. Man, I have no idea what this deck is. I guess it's just, like, TJP good stuff mid-range. <laughs> like, big mid-range. Playing Harsh Rule, Titan, Amber Monument, Wisdom, Temple Scribe, Cumbra Healer. <laughs> I mean, all these cards are really good. Uh, I'm not sure if the deck's planned, though, really. Like, is it playing Mystic Ascendant? Is it playing Channel? Is it playing Awakened Student? Like, what's going on? Um, could just double block this thing. I think I'm just going to chump it for now, though. Double block this guy. If they have, like, Finest Hour, like, we got tricked. <laughs> Scream. All right, well, there's the eighth power. So I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to save this because when Vara's in play, this is a reanimation spell. Like, this is definitely getting harsh rule or whatever, but... But that's okay. Kills their Titan. That's nice at this stage in the game. Very, very nice. Alright, what do I have? I guess a Harbinger. Well, no, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get Harsh Ruled, so I'm gonna grab a Dark Whips to draw an extra card. And if they just, like, Desert Marshal this, then, like, I'm ahead on board. <laughs> so, and, like, that Harbinger isn't doing anything against this Titan. Like, if there's no Harsh Rule killing this Titan, then Harbinger doesn't matter, so I might as well just draw an extra card. Oh, or they're gonna Vanquish. Uh, Harbinger have mattered then. I guess I could've double-blocked this. Um... In the meantime, what do we do? Kill this thing, probably. Or chump, chump this thing, probably. Let's take two. Harbinger would be nice, just kill that. Scream. Hmm. Do I think opponent has another Desert Marshal? Because I could just scream two Fanatics and then Devour her. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This seems actually pretty good. Like... It's likely that one of these gets through. And I would love to draw some cards. So they're probably going to make this block here. I'm going to devour it. If they have a Desert Marshal, they have a Desert Marshal. Scorpion Wasp is totally fine. These guys get to keep their abilities. Yep, yeah, so let's eat this one, draw some cards. We're just grinding them out. <laughs> Another Vara, beautiful. All right, let's definitely pitch our cards then. All right, what did we hit? Another Fnatic. A Venom Spine. That's really good. Is that all four of our Fnatics here? <laughs> you look at your void so much with this deck. <laughs> yeah, it's all four of our Gorgon Fnatics. Um, jump this. I think I just trade here. I can take five. other stuff off in case they're playing like chalice i don't know i want to play this instead of death striking because i want the opponent to uh harsh rule or, like be forced to harsh rule um all right so what do i get here i guess if i have like a vanquish i'd want venom spine yeah, i think venom spine is probably the pick my other var is silence so that just ends the chain so this is just strictly better since it's also a 7-7 but it has an ability In the harsh rule, sure. Maybe any a reason to grab Wisp, but um, well, these guys are all good. I don't think I even want a Herald Song. Let's play a Fatty and end turn. We're grinding them out, like in, unless they have a channel, which they haven't proven to us that they even have in their deck. Like, so like these are like Chalice units, <laughs> like like TJP control, but then, but then they have the like Titan and. Temple Scribe thing going on. I just have no idea what's happening. Alright, yeah, I'm winning this race, so this is fine. Oh, baby. If 
played how many harsh rules? Two. Yeah, I think I wait one more turn. Actually, you know what I should have done is grasping shadows Vara and then uh Ooh. Okay. I have to death strike that. I should have grasping shadows Vara and just gotten a uh Golden Fanic and attacked. I should have done it last turn. I'm gonna do it this turn. I'm not gonna repeat my mistake. Iron Thorn. This is just a bizarre deck. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, yeah, we're just going off now. Like, they're not beating us at this juncture. Another Dark Return, another Herald Song. Oh, yeah. We're doing it. Uh, I'm fine just Herald Song pitching a Herald Song here. Or a Devour, is that better? Yeah, they might have a Rule Spell at some point. I think it's better than this random Herald Song. Might draw two. You never know. Yep, that's fine. Oh, jeez. So we don't even need to use these. <laughs> Give me a fanatic, bringing back a fanatic. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Just go off. Yeah, draw six, gain six. Go gain nine, actually. And discard the hand size here. Another Vara, you know, just in case. <laughs> uh. I'm just going to grasp a Harbinger here. Bring back a... Uh, I guess we'll say a Dark Wisp in case the board gets swept. Get rid of all the Chum Blockers. Leave up a Devour. <laughs> just going off. So much gas. <laughs> We're 20 cards deeper. Granted, we milled a bunch of those, but we also drew a lot of those. <laughs> Yep, that's that's how it looks, folks. Going off. All right, we'll we'll do a couple more. See how long they take. Man, that was fun. Just hit the point where. It, you're drawing so many cards per turn that you're always going to be able to bring back a full board. Like, they could have harsh ruled every single turn for the rest of the game, and you still would have won. Just off of charged units. Uh, I mean, this is good. It has, like, the uh, Dark Wisp Devour combo. Hopefully we'll draw, like, a Herald Song or something to pitch this, but maybe Ribbit is playing a slow deck that we can uh, just cast this. Likely not, though. If they're... Since he's rank 1 right now, I'm assuming he's playing something more proactive so you can just jam more games per hour. Generally how it works. Yeah. Looks like he's on his old favorite Shimmer Pack. So this Annihilate's kind of bad. Or not. I don't think Scaly Gruen is usually... <laughs> I mean, it could still be Shimmer, though. Right, I'm just going to play this. Whatever. They can block things. I right, just milled a bunch of garbage. Power Devour Scream. Not not the best spore folk there. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna devour this thing right now. I might draw Vars favor. Will he block? I might have rapid shot. There he blocked. Kinda of figured. Right, let's just draw three. And this doesn't discount Shimmer Pack, by the way. Like, he has played this card in his uh, Shimmer Pack list before. Cut out the, like, Wump Package or whatever other cheap units you were playing. Play False Prince instead. Just get, like, some nice, powerful, go big, beat down draws. In addition to the normal, go wide draws. Like what you're seeing right here. Alright, so what do I have to grasp? Just a Wisp. Yeah. That's not very good. Looking kind of bad. Black Side Harbinger is kind of embarrassed by False Prince. <laughs> like this is uh, an effect. It's not a. Uh, it's not a spell. 
kind of need him to spend his turn playing something that dies to Annihilate, or I am in trouble. Well, that's not really what I had in mind when I said something that dies to Annihilate. <laughs> Scaly Gruen, huh? All right, well, at least we can bring back this Harbinger if it dies, and we gain an extra few points of health. So we're going to take 10 here, down to 8. Then next turn, we can double block these, I suppose. And then whatever dies, likely the Harbinger, I bring back with Vara for a nice burst of healing. Yeah, so if I double block here, I'll only take two. What power did he play? Time sigil, okay. So we have no information about his hand anymore. Yep, so I'm just going to do this. Yep. So I get to gain 5 here, at least, off this Vara. And then Elysian doesn't have a good way to kill a Vara, so I think she probably bricks the whole board unless he has Permafrost. Alright, convenient. Glad I saved that Annihilate and didn't waste it on a Gruen. And then, even if he does have somebody to kill this Vara, I do have the Grasping at Shadows. Although it's likely he wouldn't kill it, he would just Permafrost it, in which case I couldn't Grasp it, and I'd kind of be in bad shape. But at least I can make the same block as last turn, right? Double block of False Prince? Yeah, this is not looking terrible. It's no Obelisk. Oh, Shimmer Pack is pretty brutal, too. Yeah, that's hella brutal. Oh, jeez, it's even premium. We're going to get premium Illusion Dinosaurs. And now I can't Grasping and Shadows this, because it's just a crappy Shimmer Pack. Uh, so are we dead? Like, we block, 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 block. We take 10. Okay, so we're not dead. So we can probably make blocks with, like, some reason, uh, semblance of sense to them. But like this, for example, we take 13. Okay, so that block doesn't make sense. That only preserves uh, 1, 2. Go like this. Take 9. And then we grasp a Shimmer Pack and turn our guys into Shimmer Packs. <laughs> doesn't seem great. We still need to draw something, but... Yeah, Shimmer Pack uh, is like a super permafrost here. <laughs> Buffs this guy, is, makes mine irrelevant. Dark Return. Alright, so we can bring back... Ooh, I can bring back Shimmer Pack and turn mine into 5-5s. Five fives. Or I can just get a Wisp for another blocker. Uh, if I bring that back and turn mine into 5-5s, five fives, I block 2 and then I die. So, yeah... I think we have to just do this, this, transform these two. Just for fun, let's make everything in Shimmer Packs. <laughs> Grab this. Actually, I could have made another Shimmer Pack this way. Man, I'm still dead on board, actually. It doesn't matter. He attacks with all and I exactly die. Yeah, so it didn't matter. Yep. Yeah, I didn't have a way to get enough units there. Mm. Er, okay, no, what I should have done is Dark Return, Sporefolk, Hope to Mill, Vara, plus another unit. I guess that was the out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Pele went there. Yeah, Dark Return, Sporefolk, play it. Hope I mill Vara, plus another unit, and then I can survive. Because Vara can block the overwhelming uh, Prince. He gets to keep rank one today. Yeah, yeah, some weird lines of this deck. It's very complicated to play just because there's so many options all the time. All right, this hand does nothing. Very easy redraw. Uh, this one <laughs> does not fare much better. Harold Song makes this hand a million times better because you can just get rid of these ugly guys. Also, a nice thing about Herald Song, uh, with when you have two fags in hands, you can always pitch the non-Vara one, because even if it gets to the point where you'd be casting it, Vara can bring that back. Right, another initiative of the Sands deck. I'm just going to Dark Wisp. I need to draw power, and these decks are likely playing Sandstorm Titan, so like that's a good Annihilate target instead of this 1-1. One, one. But my opponent is on the play with the initiative Sands, though, so they're going to be way, way ahead of me on board. Man, I think the only time I was on the play was against like the slow control deck, and I'm gonna draw against all these like more proactive decks. Oh, so this is like Xenon Killers. Yeah, geez, they can play a five drop on turn 
three. Eh, I guess this is actually better. They're not going to attack into my Wisp this way, but whatever. Okay, they have another power in hand. That's a good sign. I want them to have infinite power in hand. Displacer? Sure. That's fine. Attack, please. No? All right, well, I drew another power. <laughs> kind of doing it. This or Wisp Annihilate. Now let's play this. I don't really want to annihilate a 3-2. There's no guarantee that I'll have an Annihilate target, so this is like kind of more power efficient. If they do play a fatty, I can still annihilate it on my turn. So it's like whatever. Can I chump block this? I don't think so. I don't need the net last power that badly. Yeah, it's led through. But I could actually have traded and then in case I drew Haunting Screen, maybe I should just trade in. Because like what am I gonna do? I'm gonna attack and it's gonna trade with two doofuses. Which I guess is fine. I do kinda want it in the void. I think trading with two little doofuses is probably better than trading with one big doofus against this deck. Just because I don't go that wide. Alright, if they're chump blocking, they're just getting like free kills. They're going to have to block this with something eventually. So I'm totally alright with that. That makes me think that he doesn't play Obelisk. Although when he played Talir's favorite, it made me think he did play Obelisk. Yeah, I'm just going to make this trade. Whatever, I'll take some ones. I really want to draw these cards. Harbinger would be the nut. Alright, opponent's kind of flooding out. Alright, that's an Annihilate target if I ever saw one. I guess I can Dark Return it. Which is kind of unfortunate, but... Harbinger. Dang. Um... All right, well then I guess this is the play. Just like, kill off this thing. They have to jump, I think. Taking out my opponent's power base. <laughs> wow, they just let me draw three? Craziness. Okay. Uh, do I want another Gorgon or do I want to draw some cards? I guess I want another Gorgon. So I want to get on the board here. Then I can Venom Spine if they play a giant conduit and like trade and wipe their board. Alright, there's no silence in these in this deck. Like these factions only have like actual silence and dispel, which are like not playable cards and constructed. I think this Venom Spine Hydra is just gonna get them. Like, he's not wide enough to swarm around it, and if he kills it, it kills his whole board. And it's kind of even better than the Animus here, just because it costs one less. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> just bricks them. Alright, what can we bring back with Vara? Not much. Uh, do we just Vara save a couple little guys? Yeah, that was Herald Song. Alright, well, we drew a bunch of bad cards. And what now? Yeah, I guess I'll favor another thing. They're not playing False Prince. They might be playing Obelisk. Alright, I've got the board stalled up. Now I just need to draw another fatty. I guess I can just Vara back a 3-2 and that's fine. So like gives me a big board. Alright. They have seen the writing on the wall. They have had enough. And they are going to concede. All right, one game away from Silver Chest. Jam one more. Nightmare. Well, let's hope that I can get some some recurring Nightmare here with the Haunting Scream. Uh, ooh. All right, Spore Folk into Scream. And I'm on the draw, too, so I'm fairly likely to draw a third power. Yeah, let's just keep this, and then let's mill a Gorgon Fanatic and just go crazy. I like the sound effect of Haunting Scream, too. <laughs> it's like makes that kind of creepy screech. Uh-oh. Well, Desert Marshal kind of messes with their Scream plan. So hopefully they let their guard down. Yep. Just seek power. Okay. 
right, found her power. All is right with the world. Ugh. Just another scream, <laughs> some power, and a herald song. Alright, well these are kind of useless now. You want to at least have a Wisp so you can cycle them. You don't want to like spend a card just to mill five. That's definitely not worth it. So We might be hitting our fail rate here. It, it does happen in a deck with this many moving parts. It's playing so many engine pieces. Titan, yeah, well we can't suffer that to live. And we'll attack for him before I eat this. Gotta hit some power, gotta hit some something. Jeez, didn't hit a power. Rough. Alright. It's looking grim for our hero here. Alright, well, they didn't have a 5 drop, and we have some stuff now. Okay. It's not looking as grim as it was a moment ago. Found a Wisp to start cycling through our cards with. Jeez, milled some more garbage, like a Sporefolk and a Devour. Sporefolk is not a very good card. <laughs> it's got some synergy here, but ugh, can't even cycle our Dark Wisps. Even that small pleasure is denied us. Uh, so let's eat this. See what happens. All right, found a power. Found a devourer. He's gonna play that too. I mean, they have a marshal too. It'd be nice to have these when the wisp was getting silenced, you know. You know if I'm gonna devour it anyways, I'm not blocking any damage, so let's take it. Titan's pretty good. Sixteen. They have eleven in play. Herald Song, Vara's Favor. I'm thinking Vara's Favor plus Death Strike this guy, I suppose. Working toward these Varas that have nothing to bring back. <laughs> Kinda hanging in there. We're staying alive. Killed a couple Titans. Yeah, our Void is just complete garbage. We just bring back, like, a uh, Spore Folk, I guess. <laughs> Give us some more fuel for the next one. Alright, well these have to, just have to give me something good here. Uh, yeah, Dark Return doesn't do anything. I just need a power. Ugh. <laughs> Whoops. Just needed a power so badly. Now we're going to be dead before we can cast this Vara. Unless we draw a Grasping of Shadows, I suppose. Yep, go to five. They have a Desert Marshal, so even if I annihilate this, I'm dying. Jeez, a premium Iron Thorn. So cool looking. There you are. A little bit late, bud. Um, Alright, so again, Dark Return, a Doofus. Play it. Play Annihilate. I think Spore Folk's the best thing I have. <laughs> Jeez, just milled a bunch of spells. These Spore Folks were really awful. Um, so is Annihilating better than... What, Dark Returning another Spore Folk? I guess it is. Yeah, it is. So let's see if we can draw power. Right, we're likely dead here. They just put it if they just put in the the desert marshal, we're dead. They figured it out. So I kill this, I take five, I kill this block, I take five, yeah, I'm just dead. They got us. Uh if there was any chance we win this game, I should have annihilated here just so I didn't get stand together or something. Yeah, just missed power for a turn, milled nothing with their folks. This draws a little bit too weak. I 
Whatever, kill the most units I can. Taking you with me. Alright, kind of frustrating to end in a game when we just stumble and do nothing. So I'll play one more. Just one more game. Alright, that just straight up doesn't have enough power. Alright, there's potential. Our spore folks just have to be better than last game. <laughs> they were literally all spells, power, and one other spore folk. At least we can stay alive for a while. Another comrade deck. Alright, well, that means that uh, smaller units are good mills too. Jeez. I mean, this deck plays like 14 fine things to mill, 18 good things to mill even, if you count Black Star Harbinger. There's like the six fatties, the Gorgon Fanatics, the Harbingers, and then even the Dark Wisps are fine, so I can cycle this. They're probably favorable to hit one out of one out of 18. That said, Sportfolk is by far the worst card in the deck. This card is not very good, but it's just kind of necessary to make the deck function. Seraph, yeah, I'm not going to bother Death Striking that. Actually, I probably should just block with this and scream it. So, like, mill more stuff for Grasping Shadow. It's like a really bad use of a card, but. Blocks three here instead of two. Like, this is a really bad use of a card, but I, I'm under pressure. I need to do something. I even have this dark return now. If I mill something good, I can mill another fanatic right here. Really, was that five more power? Jeez, four power and devour. These have been some of the worst spore folks I've ever seen. <laughs> yep, I'm at 13. Titan, please. Eris is Disciple. That's really good. Alright, I'll do what I can. Another Annihilate. Um, scream again. I think I'm going to Dark Return. And then if I do hit a Gorgon, I can scream it. Hey, I hit a Gorgon. All right. It's kind of working. I'm going to go down to like four here. And then be close to stabilizing. <laughs> so it's dead to another obelisk. I didn't quite think about that, but I don't think that's a thing I can play around at this point. Jeez. Alright, so this is, does this even keep me alive? I gain 7, so I go up to 11. And I can, like, block, block, go up to 14, take 3, 5, 8, 12. So I'm not quite dead if I don't have a silence. Uh, alternatively, I could like Dark Return Gorgon, gain 3 plus Annihilate something. No, this is my only chance. This day I have no silence. It's not good for me. That's actually fine. I assume they just ace space here. They don't ace space? That's astonishingly timid, I think. Uh, so I could grasp another Harbinger, uh, plus Annihilate Titan. I think that's what I do. I did have a Harbinger here, right? Yeah. This gains me nine. And then... Killing Titan is definitely better than, like, killing this. So yeah, I'm just gonna do it now so they can't, like, stand together or anything. Alright, well now my blocks are suddenly a lot better than they were last turn. They could have pushed me down for a ton of damage and killed me over two turns for sure. But I guess they're just waiting until they have double obelisk buff. Alright, possible stand together here. Alright, so I can Death Strike the Titan, Dark Return, Fanatic, Slam with it, gain three. Hmm. 
Yeah, because I still play Power this turn. I think these other guys still need to be on defense. So I don't die to a single silence. And if we hit Avara off these, we can start doing some crazy stuff. <laughs> We've milled 20 cards. Alright, they've hit the double obelisk buff. No, they've not. Once they hit that, they're gonna go pretty ham on us. So, actually, another ping effect would not be a bad draw here. Venom Spine Hydra is also not bad. I think I pitched that. Play this Hydra. It's like another blocker. So I'm at 23, so I can block 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, I'd block like the biggest four. So I can block like this, 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 and this. Right, so I take six, so take three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So yeah, so I'm definitely not dead. I take twenty if they have another, another obelisk. It's the same as them drawing a power, but now they, if they draw a power, it's super, super bad for us. All right, so I need to find like a removal spell for my own guy, which I found. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, I think we just do it. Oh my god! <laughs> Brutal. Savage. Wrecked. <laughs> Alright, well, I milled some bad cards I didn't want to draw. <laughs> some more Spore Folks. It's out of 28 cards in my deck. We got them! <laughs> <laughs> Venom Spine Hydra, the champ. <laughs> Alright, so uh, yeah, that's... Those games were a pretty good taste of Scream Animator. We like had someone we won a normal game, had one where we kind of went off, had one where we won with a goofy card no one usually wins with, had one where all our sport folks milled garbage and we lost, had one where we got run over. It was pr pretty representative, I'd say. So, uh, yeah, definitely give uh, Scream Animator a try. And uh, until next time, Lights Out Ace, signing off.